Good morning, guys. And welcome back to the channel. And welcome to the, those who have not seen any of the stuff before. Welcome. Um, I'm in Switzerland and I've had a glorious camp. I had a perfect spot. This was, I mean, I'm parked over there, but there's, there's someone right next to me. I didn't want to record. He's doing some work on his computer, but I'm all packed up. I'm heading out to towards Gadman. I think that's pronounced, as you pronounce it. <laughs> Going to do the Trift Bridge Walk. So yeah, I have to get a cable car up so far and then it's about a four to 500 meter walk up to the top. I don't know if that is to Triff Bridge or if that's on the way. I'm not sure. Well, I'm just following a route and I'm gonna do it and gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a good one. I'll just show you my view. I'll put a location up, pop it on the screen and let you know exactly where it is and how much it costs. But this is the view. Absolutely gorgeous round here. I mean, it's gorgeous because it's sunny, but still a stunning sight. And that was me packed up there. I just want to stay here as well because it's not too far from where I want to go and do the Via Ferrata. I'm still thinking about it. There's been a few deaths on that bridge, all right? So <laughs> I think I'm going to do it, but there has been a few deaths on that bridge. Probably people not hooking up the, yeah, their equipment to uh, wherever they need to. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the road. And I'll see you up there. Hi right, guys, well, I'm at the Triff Barn now. So this, it's a bit noisy because there's a lot of cars coming past here. Um, it's a gorgeous drive up here from where I come from anyway. But I'm gonna catch this. As you can see one coming in there. I'm hoping there's a few <laughs> and there's no, not much of a queue. It doesn't look like there is. So I'm gonna catch this um, Triff Barn cable car somewhere up there and then we're going to do about a 400, 500 metre walk up. It's going to be a killer. I'm all in black, like an idiot. <laughs> Even a black cap, everything black, except for the bag. Um, it's going to be a killer because it's red hot today. There's no breeze at all. Maybe it might be different up there. It might be a little breeze, which in some ways I don't want anyway because I haven't got the cover for the uh, GoPro to cover the wind. But it is what it is. In some ways, I do want a bit of breeze up there because it's going to be red hot, but I don't for the GoPro. So this will head on up there and then we'll do a bit of a climb, quite a bit of a climb. And uh, yeah, it will then eventually get to the Trift Bridge, which is a spectacular bridge by the looks of the pictures anyway. Um, 
that goes over like a goes in it goes over a gorge in between two mountains and overlooks like the gorgeous Triff Lake so should definitely be a good one this anyway I'm gonna catch this so again and I do apologize a bit noisy with cars and obviously we've got the engine running for the bar I'm next in queue which is great so it's here it'll be back down in about five or ten minutes I've got a return so returns only 22 to 25 francs and it's not too bad I'm gonna get up here get some great views and then go and see the lake cross the bridge get some pictures around the bridge thank you Find his lamp is green on top, you can open the door. Okay, thank you. Well, I've just got in the uh, cable car now. Oh man, it's, I mean, it's a lot smaller than the other one. <laughs> it was just room for two, I reckon. But I took up quite a bit of space on my own. <laughs> oh yes. We're definitely going to get some stunning images up there and clear day. Definitely get a great view. Like I said, made room for the table up. It's a bit too there. But I've got it to myself. It says Mac, yeah, Mac's eight people, so you can stand. I mean, I'm gonna stand, get some views. Oh my days, it's dodgy standing though. I'm not gonna lie, it shakes. Oh wow, look at this. Cover the sun a bit. Absolutely gorgeous up here. It goes quite, you get past that point over there, I thought that was the top. Why well, not, just carrying on. And then you go right in the middle of all this. Just hanging here, just carrying on. Somewhere over there, I don't know if that's the top, or if it goes even further up. Find out in a bit. Stunning waterfall there as well. I don't know if you can see that. It's the gorge down there. It's beautiful like that. I know you probably see my hand at the top there, but I'm just, if I don't do it, you're getting that. Anyway, better get, better get ready, because as soon as we get there, I've got to watch out for this green light, and then I can open the door on my own. I'm guessing there's nowhere, there's no one here at this other point. So we just got off here uh, and we're on the trail now and it already looks amazing here and we've got these waterfalls here it's this little dam thing I'm guessing when it's really snowy on top I bet these would be some really good waterfalls down here but it's dry to it well it's got slight but not much Absolutely stunning. So we're going to go on this trail round here and then start climbing somewhere over there in yonder over there. I better not have too many breaks just to be on the safe side because I don't want to miss. That is the last cable car at 1624 I think it is. It's in my pocket but I'm sure she said an hour there, an hour back. I'm sure she did. Um, 
and there's a bar here. If I get back in time, I can have a little drink and then get the cable car back down and then go back to that same campsite I was on last night. Absolutely gorgeous camping spot. And I've put the sun cream on today. <laughs> Plastered it on. Factor 30. So I should still catch a little bit of sun, but not burn. Not burn. Oh, I felt it last night. Get in the shower. Stung a bit on the cheeks. I'm alright today though, it's gone down. It's gone down pretty quick. But it did sting a bit. The thing is, I could leave the cap on and just sweat the hell through it. You know me, I sweat like crazy and it just shows out here on the front and it goes white on every cap I've done or if it's a white cap it goes like an orangey colour uh, so I will be taking the cap off probably in a minute because we're going up and it's going to be really it's, you can feel it's going to be a hard one because of the heat it's really hot You're gonna have to put up with a balding, sweating, middle-aged guy climbing. <laughs> it's too hot, man. It's too hot. Can't wear the cap. I'm just dripping through it already. They want to come here. I've got all this to do yet. I think it goes over there. I don't know. Going up here. Surely not scrambling through that. Somewhere up. I don't know. Anyway, we're climbing. So yeah, I just, and I'll have to hold it a bit closer as well. If it gets a bit windy, you won't be able to hear me, just hear wind noise. Oh, I've got some much needed shade on this side. So obviously that's where I've come from. Here, here you just walk down to a little bridge down here. And I'm just walk up, I come up the sideways. And I'm assuming it's up this bit here and then carrying on a bit more well until we get somewhere up here maybe or is it that way we we'll check out on the map so it's gonna the trail's gonna go across over this side so the lake's somewhere hidden over here or maybe in the middle of that where all the snow is that could be that bit there oh well we'll be there soon well, I'll say soon. I'll probably have about 10 breaks. You know me. And I brought the coffee. Definitely gonna have a coffee at the, at the top or near the bridge, at least. Oh! I'm at least halfway to the uh, bridge. Where apparently the walk I've downloaded on all trails. Goes to the bridge, comes out, the, come back over the bridge and it goes up the other way to check out some hut uh, so we'll see if I've got time for that if it's at a posh I'll just do the bridge and back again it's like I don't want to miss that uh, cable car and I might be pushing it to try and get the last cable car if it takes eight people and there's eight people in the queue already <clears throat> then that means I'll be walking down and it might take me a while it's doable, but it just might take me a while. I've not brought the head torch. I don't want to risk walking through unknown territory without any light. So, get to the bridge, have a coffee there, get some pictures, then see what time it is after all that. And if I've got time to go and do the hut, which is a further I think it's another 200 meters up. 
<laughs> uh, if I've got time, I will definitely do it, but if I haven't, I don't want to push it. The bridge is the main thing I was coming on this walk for. So, at least we're going to do that. Right, well you get to this point here, where, oh I see, Triff Brook, Triff Bridge, is this way, and the hut is there. That one there. Windeget, Windeg Hoot, Sack. <laughs> 30 minutes apparently, only that way, so maybe. So it's 30 minutes to the bridge this way. So that's all right. And then it's 30 minutes to the hut. Although the walk from the bridge to the hut, up at the top, probably is longer. I've got two and a half hours. And that's the hut there. Apparently you can get food there. Oh wow. I've already brought some food. But you can get a drink up there. Oh, let's just crack on and see what's what. If I have time to go, like I said, I'll do it. Well, I'm going to the bridge. On the left side. If you're doing this walk, stick to the left. If you're coming to see the bridge. I think a lot of people are just going up to the bridge and going back down. And I spoke to a couple people coming down who are American or Canadian. Apologies if I've mixed up, no idea. Sounded more Canadian than anything. Um, but they said about 10 minutes ago, they said I was halfway up, which I probably am. If it's only 30 minutes from here, it's told me about Actually, let's have a look. Yeah, it's took me 44 minutes now. So, it may be it was halfway down there. So I'm on a bit of level ground now. I'm just having a breather. Oh, what a view. I'll just get around here. Oh my days. Wow. Stunning views. Quite a few people have gone past now. I think, uh, there's a bar by what it looks like. It looks like there's a bar at the station anyway for the cable car. I don't know, maybe I should just do the bridge. Come on, do what I need to do up there because I'll probably be sat around for about half an hour anyway. Having my lunch and having a coffee. Chilling out while I've got a good view. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. Do the bridge, have my little break. Possibly get the drone up and then come back down. If I've got time and it's open, I'll get a drink at the bar down there. If not, just get a bar when I get, just get a drink when I get back to campsite. I don't need a drink, it's just nice. It's just nice to do that, isn't it? When you go for a walk and there's, there's a bar on the horizon. <laughs> and you're like gasping for a good pint. I mean, I had a shandy last time. But, I think I'll just get a normal beer. You can have one beer, you're driving. Can have a beer.
definitely got the sun now no shade at all from this point on uh, I'm not showing it you because it'll just blind you <laughs> it's gorgeous around here you know I say that on every water door gorgeous stunning beautiful epic what else you say? Landscape is just phenomenal in this place. In Switzerland, Italy with the Dolomites, and many other places. I need to move. There's a web sprouting all over me from somewhere. Oh, I can see it on my arm. What the hell? I've got a spider on me. Ah. Oh, there's the bridge. I can't believe I've all just seen that. I don't know if you can see it there. Oh, wow. That is a proper suspended bridge. From one side to the other, and I guess the lake is just there then. It must be. Oh, that's not too bad. Maybe I will be able to do this. Climb up there, I know a bit bright. Climb up that, see the hut up there, and then come back down. I might have time. I mean, I know it looks like it's just there, but it is still a bit of a walk away, really. So we're now at the Trift Bridge, and I'll show you guys I'm going across. It's probably a bit crazy, really. I should have do it two-handed, but I'm going to have to hold the GoPro. I didn't bring a body cam or the headgear. I should have. Anyway, this is it. Let's get on it. Wow. Oh my days. And there's the lake there. That is absolutely stunning. Look at the waterfall from all the snow up there. That is amazing. Let's go across it. I'll do it this way with the GoPro. And then, oh my God, it's wobbly. I do it this way with the GoPro and then do it with the iPhone coming back. My God, you can see it wobble. Holy shit, isn't it? That's mental. I want to get the drone up like roughly around here, looking at the lake over there, if I can. But this is mega. Please don't break on me. Oh my God, it's wobbling. Literally is wobbling. Oh, I'll get to the middle. Yeah, that's nowhere near the middle. Oh God. I've never done anything like this before. Really cool. Oh God, oh my God, it shakes and wobbles. You see all the tight ropes just shaking around everywhere. Getting close to the middle. You can see down there. Oh, this is the wobbly bit. Holy crap. Now this is the point, ish. Oh, that creaked. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Flooring just creaked. Right, I'm gonna try and get a picture of a selfie with me from this angle. Right, so I've got a selfie. Let's carry on. Should we do it facing me? So you can see me shitting my pants. It'd be crap in my pants. Oh my god, it's wobbling. I'll put it, extend it. I'm gonna extend it a bit further out. You might not hear me great, but there's no wind. Happy days. Oh. This is mega. Absolutely mega. <laughs> wow, it's wobbling. 
I'm hoping you're not getting too much sun glare. I should do it that way. Yeah. Although the, the lake's that side, so it looks better that way, doesn't it? I mean, probably sun glare. Oh my days. Oh, you can feel the, the incline coming up now. Climbing up it. This is mega. Definitely got to come and do this. Definitely come and do it. I'm going to face it that way. Oh, another creaky floorboard. Oh my days. Whoo! You can see it dip. I mean, that's me holding it straight. I think you can definitely see it dips and you're climbing on the other side. Oh my days. What a quality bridge. There's people here having the sandwiches. I think I'm gonna go up there somewhere. Try and get a picture from there or somewhere here of the bridge if I can. Looking at that, there's definitely aerial activity here. A lot of, uh, I don't know if you can see it up here, helicopter coming up and down. It looks like, oh, that's the hut. Maybe it's delivering uh, barrels of booze. It must be food and booze. That's pretty cool. Hello. Hello. Right, let's get up here and then we can get a, try and get up here somewhere and get a better shot for you guys. It's a mega ball though. I mean the huts. It does say one hour from there. I don't know why. It's a bit of a climb. It says an hour from there and then half an hour from there to get back to that point where it splits. It's too much of a push. Gotta get that cable car back. Right, anyway, let's go and get a view. It's red. This is as good as a spot I'm gonna get for a good angle without the drone. Otherwise you're climbing right up there, but this was dodgy enough. I'm already hanging off a cliff. Anyway, check that out. What a stunning location. Anyway, I'm getting off this rock before. It feels a bit wobbly. Got the drone up. Naughty naughty. It did pop up on the drone on the screen though, to be honest, saying you accept full liability. So I ticked it and off I flew. Kept well well away from where the helicopter was going, there and back. Uh, but yes, quality view. Um, I'll just come over here because I'm gonna have my lunch. Oh, yeah, there's the lake. 
There's the bridge there, some people just come across it. Right, time for a bit of lunch and then head back down and have a coffee as well. What a spot for it though. up a little bit. I couldn't talk just because there were a bunch of people there. What a view! What a quality place for lunch and a coffee. Well happy with this. That mountain up there, I don't know what it's called, it looks stunning. The lake itself is like a, it's not a very, it's not a clear blue colour, or clear green colour, it's just, yeah it's kind of a turquoisey colour, but it's not clear, you can't see through it, it's kind of like the ones you see on quarries, when you go around quarries and stuff and you can see a little lake in the middle and it's, you can't see through it because, I don't know, I don't know why, but it still looks mega. Jesus, that is gorgeous. Well, they got it from a garage. I was going past cheese sandwich with pickles. Man, it's well nice. So I'm going to drink this quick because I've just checked the time. It's five past three. The last cable car is at 24 minutes past four. It took about 50 minutes to get up here, hopefully around the same time, so drink this quick, get down, I won't record going down, and then I'll see you back at camp, I want to enjoy this a bit longer though, about 5 minutes, see you in a bit. Ah, 
man, it's hot. <laughs> oh, I've done it again, Anna. I? I put a cap on the other way around. Oh, bloody bag. Anyway, I've got back here. I've still got 20, 24 minutes yet. It's only four o'clock. And I've just realized on the ticket, that's my time. But she did say that is the last um, cable car. I don't know. I've been seeing loads of people still going up. I know you can still do a whole walk going all the way down, but I wonder if she meant that's my last time I can get the uh, cable car, but there's still others after that. I don't know. Maybe then to stop traffic for the last ones. I don't know. I didn't look at it. But this is stunning here. And there is a bar in the background. Um, have time for a quick drink. Half. <laughs> oh, whatever. Right, anyway. I'm gonna get the car, cable car. Get back down to the car. Get to the campsite. And I'll see you later. Bye for now. Hi right, guys. Well, I'm now at camp. I've camped up. Well, it was a quality day today. I'm at the same campsite it was yesterday. As you can see. What a place. I was camped over there last time on an angle, so I wasn't able to have the tent facing the lake. But now I have. What a spot. What an absolute spot. And he's not charged me for it. Because he said he was going to give me one of these spots again tonight, I've turned up, he went, he forgot. He basically said, I forgot about you. He said, I forgot about you. He says, so you're going to have to park up around the back. He said, but free of charge so I've only paid for one night and I'll stop two nights happy days I wanted this spot anyway it's a quality spot perfect spot and I've got it's higher up so I've got a better view of the lake I do hope you've enjoyed that today that was a quality bridge and what a walk it was up there as well tomorrow we're gonna go to I don't know if I'm saying this right Lauterbrunnen Valley to see the falls uh, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow so that'll be the next episode I'm just buzzing with the weather. The weather's quality is like sunny for the rest of this week. So I've got some gorgeous weather for it. Anyway, I'm gonna get my cooking on. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do the usual. Give it a thumbs up, give it a share, put a comment in the box and I'll get back to you. And yeah, Switzerland, definitely giving it large. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. See you later.